To inspect and maintain the brake system on your Indian Roadmaster, follow these steps. With the aid of an assistant, position the motorcycle on level ground in the fully upright position. Starting at the front reservoir, position the handlebars straight ahead to ensure an accurate reading. Check the fluid level through the sight glass with a flashlight. The fluid should be above the minimum indicator mark on the sight glass. Before adding fluid, wipe the area with a clean cloth. Then, remove the two cover fasteners. Lift the cover off and set aside. Then remove the diaphragm. Do not allow brake fluid to contact painted surfaces or paint damage may occur. Add fluid as needed. Do not overfill. Then, reinstall the diaphragm, cover, and fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. Clean any residual fluid off the vehicle to prevent paint damage. Next, lubricate the pivot pin and brake lever hinge point. Start by removing the bottom nut. Then remove the pivot pin. Pull the brake lever out. Clean off any old grease or dirt from the pivot pin and lever hinge. Lubricate the pivot pin and brake lever hinge point with an all-purpose grease. Reinstall the brake lever and align the pinhole. Reinstall the pivot pin fully. Then, reinstall the nut and torque the specification. Clean any residual grease off the bike. Ensure proper operation of the brake lever. Next, inspect the banjo bolts on the inside of the master cylinder for leaks. Move down to the caliper covers and remove the two acorn nuts and washers on each side. Then, remove the inside fastener from each cover and remove the covers from the motorcycle. Follow the brake lines from the front junction block to the front brake calipers, looking for any leaks, kinks, or damage. Inspect the connections at the front brake calipers for leaks. Position an inspection mirror at the back side of the caliper to view the friction material. Replace when the thinnest point of the friction material has worn to the service limit indicator groove. Measure the thickness of each front brake rotor at four or more locations. Replace any rotor that is damaged or worn to the minimum thickness at any point. Inspect the front ABS tone ring for damaged teeth and the wheel speed sensor for excessive debris. Reinstall the caliper cover and cover fastener and torque the specification. Then, reinstall the nuts and washers. Torque the specification. Next, move to the rear fluid reservoir near the rear brake pedal on the right side of the bike. Ensuring the bike is still level, check the fluid level with a flashlight. The fluid level should be above the minimum indicator mark on the reservoir body. Before adding fluid, wipe the area with a clean cloth. Then, remove the two cover fasteners. Lift the cover off and set aside. Then, remove the diaphragm. Do not allow brake fluid to contact painted surfaces or paint damage may occur. Add fluid as needed. Do not overfill. Reinstall the diaphragm cover, and fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. Clean any residual fluid off the vehicle to prevent paint damage. Next, inspect for leaks on the banjo bolts at the rear master cylinder. Follow the rear brake line from the rear brake reservoir to the ABS module. Remove the left upper side cover by pulling the corners evenly out to disengage each tab from the rubber grommets. To remove the left saddlebag, first disconnect the saddlebag lock connector near the seat. Next, press the lid latch release button and lift the lid. Then remove the two saddlebag fasteners. Finally, 
tilt the saddlebag out, and lift up to remove. Continue by following the rear brake lines to the rear brake caliper banjo bolt, looking for any leaks, kinks, or damage. Also, ensure the brake line retainers are properly secured. Then inspect the rear brake pads and rotors, and replace any that are worn to their minimum thickness. Also inspect the rear ABS tone ring and wheel sensor. If inspection reveals a need for service or replacement, see your authorized Indian motorcycle dealer. Next, begin reinstalling the saddlebags by placing them on the muffler brackets. Reinstall the saddlebag fasteners and torque the specification. Then, reconnect the electrical wiring if necessary and ensure the saddlebags are mounted properly. Finally, align the three side panel grommets and reinstall each upper side panel. For more information, see your authorized Indian Motorcycle dealer or visit IndianMotorcycle.com.